Welcome to the Phone Arena video review of the Samsung Strive. The Strive is now available via AT&T and replaces the Propel in its lineup. Like the Propel, the Strive is a portrait slider with a full QWERTY keyboard underneath. It is significantly larger than the Propel, mainly due to the fact that it has a 2.6 inch display, where its predecessor only had a 2.2. The resolution has also been bumped up to QVGA and it now features 262,000 colors. All of these make for a much better viewing experience on the Samsung Strive. The full QWERTY keyboard isn't one of our favorites. The keys are decent enough sized, although the spacebar is pretty small. However, the keys are a little bit harder to press than most, and it also flexes when we press the keyboard in general, further exacerbating this problem. Still, it's easy enough to type on, and for a low-end phone, we can't complain all that much. Another gripe we do have as well is the fit and finish of the phone. While the build quality doesn't feel cheap, the materials that they used did. Everything's a hard plastic with this piano finish, which A, leaves a lot of fingerprints, and B, just doesn't feel all that great in the hand. We're not worried about the longevity of the device, but Samsung's normally known for excellent build quality. The Strive doesn't quite hit that mark. Still, the buttons are very easy to press. Everything feels good. Along the left side you have the volume rocker, and on the right you have the camera key and micro USB data port. This also serves as the charging port, of course. If you notice, there is no headphone jack. The slide mechanism does feel solid. One of our other gripes is this message we always get when closing the device asking us if we want to lock the keypad or not. We found no indication in the settings that this can be turned off. For the most part, features are very standard on this drive. The menu is familiar to any AT&T user. As you see here, we now have threaded text messaging as the default. This doesn't seem like anything too new. Sprint has made threaded messaging almost a must throughout their lineup, and even low-end devices like the Sanyo 2700 feature that. It is well pulled off, however, very iPhone reminiscent, and as you look at the images, you can see MMS is incorporated directly into that. There's a lot of things that we could change about this drive, but when we really look at it, it's a $20 device that offers some nice features such as threaded text messaging and 3G connectivity. As we mentioned, the QWERTY keyboard isn't our favorite, but is quite usable. This is one of the big differences between on-screen and physical keyboards. In our sunburst video, we showed you that typing was pretty inaccurate. However, even though we're not crazy about the feel of the Strive's keyboard, we were still able to type accurately. In the end, for people who are looking to get a quick, easy to use device with not much money out of their pocket, the Strive is a good choice. It offers some high-end features, such as a good camera, as well as 3G connectivity.